Hello everyone. Welcome to Tesla Technologies Private Limited. My name is Saurabh Mishra, and today in this video, we are going to discuss about the differential protection relay trainer. Its order code is two 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 three six two two zero point one point three n. So in this video, we are going to discuss about its components and working. So let's start with the differential protection relay trainer. So in this. we will discuss about the components of it so we are having three input ports that is r y and b the input supply is given by this these three ports r y and b separately a three phase supply is given over here these ports are for the meter for earth current which will be shorted this one and this one this is the main differential protection relay the main part of this trainer kit a primary and secondary transformer having supply voltage 110 this is the primary one the r y and b for the primary circuit running on 110 voltage these are r y and b for the secondary circuit running on 110 voltage these three are emitters for the input current and voltage these three are the emitters for the output current these are the three output ports for r phase y phase and b phase these are the relay ports are relay 1 relay 2 relay 3 relay 4 these are the indication lamps this is for the trip indication this is for the normal indication and this is a, a bulb which is uh, used for checking of the voltage these black one black ports are for the neutral one and these for the r phase y phase and for the b phase secondary part of differential protection relay trainer kit these three are the regulators to regulate the voltage supply this is for the r phase this is for the y phase this is for the b phase the input voltage is given to this r port this is for the neutral the input for the y phase is for the r, this y port for neutral and say similarly for the b phase the input given for the b phase and the neutral port these ports will be here for the step down transformer we give here 220 230 volt supply as an input and we obtain 110 voltage supply at the output output voltage for our phase can be extracted from this port this one is neutral output voltage for y phase can be extracted from this port this is neutral and voltage extracted from for the b phase can be obtained from this port and that is for the neutral these are the regulators for by which we can regulate the voltage supply and this is all about the differential protection relay trainer main kit now this is the three phase isolation transformer kit another unit part of the differential protection relay trainer here as we have already seen in differential protection relay trainer there is two circuits for the primary transformer and for the secondary transformer in this unit also there is a separate part for the primary one and another one for the secondary one here we will give the input from the transformer for r phase then it's neutral then it's for the b phase it's neutral then for the b phase sorry this is for r phase this is for the y phase this is for the b phase it is for the primary one moving on for the secondary one we can obtain for the r phase the then y phase and then b phase and all its of its neutral ports so now this is three phase resistive load which is operated at 100 10 voltage so these are the switches given for different phases 
these 10 switches are for R phase switches from S1 to S10 then switches from S20 S11 to S20 for Y phase then switches from S21 to 30 for the phase B these three are the indicator lamps indicators for R phase Y phase and B phase these two ports are power port and neutral port for the fan just to cool down the system the next R port, Y port and B port we have to give supply for this to this to take this as a load so now let us start the connection for the differential protection relay trainer starting from the input ports of R phase, Y phase and B phase these three input ports so let us start the connection first connect R port with this one this R port next connection for the Y port with this port and then next for the B port connect this with this port now next we have to ground its neutral points these neutral points should be short neutral point of R phase should be short with the neutral point of Y phase and neutral point of Y phase should be short with the neutral point of B phase next next we will start with the next we will do the connection of the input three input ports the three input ports that are R Y and B so starting with the R connect this port make sure your connection should be tight make this R port connected with this output of R phase then connection of this Y port with this Y port can at last this B port with this B port so here are, we have done with the connections next we have to short the neutral ports neutral output ports so for R phase this neutral port should be short with the neutral port of this Y phase and neutral port of this Y phase should be short with the neutral port of B phase next the neutral port the neutral output port of R phase should be short with this neutral port now next now next these two earth ports should be shorted so connect this with this one these two should be shorted and next the other two ports that is these two ports these two also have to be shorted now next 
we have to connect to the transformer part okay so connect the surface we have to connect this primary circuit r phase with the transformer units this r phase this y phase and this b phase okay now the r phase should be connected to the primary circuit of r phase the primary circuit of y phase should be connected to the primary circuit of y phase and the b phase of primary circuit of transformer should be connected to the b phase of the transformer these all three have done now we have to short the neutral parts of the transformer so here just short r phase with the y phase and y phase with the b phase okay now we'll move on to the secondary part now similarly to these primary circuits primary ports of r y b connect the cable with the r phase of secondary with the y phase of secondary and with the b phase of secondary now these three why should be connected with the transformer unit secondary so now these three wires of r phase primary circuit should be connected to the r phase of the secondary circuit y phase of the secondary circuit should be connected with the y phase of the circuit and b phase will be connected with the b phase okay now similarly what we have done in the primary circuits we have to do it in secondary circuit also so here in this the short the neutral points the neutral points of r phase with the y phase and y phase with the b phase so let's start so here we are going to have short the r phase with the y phase and y phase with the b phase so here we have completed the circuit now next we have to connect these three cable these three ports r phase r port y port and b port with the three phase resistive load so let's connect with this r phase this cable is for y phase and the next cable is for b phase so these three cables will now be will now be connected with the connected with the three phase resistive load so now the r phase should be connected with this r phase okay so now r phase will be connected with the r phase y phase should be connected with the y phase and b phase of apply load three phase voltage should be connected with the b phase so here three phase resistive load is connected now the con the connections for the indication lamp should be done so connect 
the trip indication lamp this port with the connection of connection with the normal indication lamp yellow port after that connect this yellow port the normal indication lamp with the relay to the select the select we have selected relay to with this yellow port no port okay next we have to connect we have to short its neutral parts neutral parts of trip should be short with the neutral part of normal lamp and normal lamp should be short with the with this neutral part now next we have to connect this power port this one with this nc port of relay to the blue port okay now connect this p port with this common port okay and then this common port should be connected this common port should be connected with this r phase input port okay and at last this neutral port should be connected with this this neutral port should be connected with this neutral port now at last we have to connect this port this neutral port with this neutral port this connection is done now in the last to connect with the fan we just sort of have to give supply from this power port and neutral port power port and neutral port so this this is connected and this one is connected with this now these two have to be connected with the three phase resistive load in which there is a fan on option we have to connect it with that so in this these two ports have been given so that power port should be connected with this in this red port this red port and that neutral one should be connected in this black port so here yeah, we are done with the connections of the differential protection relay trainer now at last this cable this shape cable should be connected into the differential protection relay and its usb part should be connected with the cpu so here yeah, we are connecting this cable with this differential protection relay so open this open this just connect it over here so here we, we are done with the complete circuit of the differential protection relay trainer now we will move towards the software part so if you if you want to order this you can have we are having the code 2223622.1.3n so this is the code of order code of this product and for extra information for more information you can refer to this manual it will be given to the user all the details are given in this manual so you can refer to this
now we will move for the software part so before moving we just have to switch on the power supply the three phase power supply of this we should give the connection and the three phase power supply should be switched on so this is the overall connection and see we have the bulb has switched on all the three indication lights have been completely so it means the circuit is correctly completed so now move on to the software part all these three indicators these three emitters and these three emitters they will show the normal voltage and the trip voltage if there will if there will be any of the trip so now let's move to the software part now if your circuit is correctly completed then you can see the internal voltage will be equal to the external voltage okay minor difference can be observed but phase r phase r phase y phase b all three are having the similar voltage now if you want to check the trip indication of a, uh, of this device you can short the r phase and the y phase you can see you will see that the trip indication lamp will glow up so shorting this r phase with this y phase so trip indication is shown okay so after removing also this short devices shorting device the trip indication is shown so in this differential protection delay relay you can click on clear and after that the trip will get switch off see so you have to turn it do it manually so here, here is the all demonstration of the differential protection relay trainer so now in software just initially start with this mycom s1 agile software to install this software you can refer to the manual double click on mycom s1 agile software then here you will get the option of device configuration just click on this after that you will get the option of p50 agile configurator click on yes it will take a few seconds to open so here is your uh, screen on your window so we'll have to click on the substation 3 just please check we have to work on p652 because our device is based on p652 version not on the p153 or any other else version so just click on p652 uh, right click on it and just click on the connect it will take a few seconds it is saying now device load successful you can see over here now the device connected will be in shown in green color and the device which is not connected should be shown in the red color now next step we have to click on the connection double click on this com8 front port just save this now next click on this settings read device settings since we are already having this port we will click on this set 001 dot set it will take a few seconds device load successfully the screen will come click on the configuration part always check that your hv reference and lv reference should be disabled okay next it's it's work is over now next we have to go to the 
आयो मास्क दिस ऑप्शन जीरो 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 वन पॉइंट आई ओ एम डबल क्लिक ऑन दिस विल गेट दिस लॉजिकेट इन दिस जनरल विल गेट द इनपुट सेलेक्टेड इनपुट्स इफ यू गो फॉर द डिफ प्रोटेक्शन यूल गेट दीज ऑल पोर्ट्स द इनपुट पोर्ट्स यू हैव सेलेक्टेड फ्रॉम हेयर शुड बी शोन इन हेयर नाउ सेंस वी हैव सेलेक्टेड रिले सेकेंड इन द डिफरेंशियल प्रोटेक्शन रिले ट्रेनर so all these inputs are have been shown here and since we haven't selected any relay 3 so no input ports directly could be shown here just cross it and it will be completed over here at last you can check the settings so in this settings 001 point set just click on this diff protection file in this is1 and is2 you can see you can put the values according to the load you want and point 7 i have take point 2 pu and point 7 pu For more information, you can refer to the manual. Detailed uh, elaboration is given, but always check that you have used the version P six fifty two, V one zero five. Thank you. So that's all the demonstration from my side. If you have any query, you can contact at Tesca Global website. For more information, you can refer to the manual, and to know about other products. you can refer to the links given in the description thank you for watching this video if you like this video like share and subscribe to this channel